G'day, it's Ecom Rebel, and in this video, we are going to discuss everything about MyCrypto's new downloadable wallet. So I have talked about this before, and we're just going to run through on how to download and install it. So let's get started. So when you go to the MyCrypto.com, just make sure it's the correct site. You'll see there up the top left hand side, you'll see a lock. It says MyCrypto and the website's MyCrypto.com. Com. Okay, so now you, you have to uh, access it through MetaMask, Ledger, Trezor, Parity Signer. Uh, you won't be able to access it through the private key, key store, mnemonic phrase. Okay, so that's what they've changed. To make it more secure, they've made a app. So we're going to click on this is download.mycrypto.com. And it's essentially the same. This one's uh, for the Mac, but also you can get it for Windows, Linux as well. So we're going to download the Mac one. I'll demonstrate that. So let's click the download button. It's finished downloading. Let's just open that up and then we'll install it and we'll give it a go. Okay, so on Mac we just drag it to the Applications folder. Okay, that's done. Let me just close that. Now let's go to Launchpad. My crypto. Okay, so we click Open. Okay, now it just it goes through and explains what it is, what it does. It's not a bank, it's just an interface. Tells us a bit about blockchain. Read all that. Keep going. How to protect yourself. Next, and done. Main point here is get a hardware wallet. So I click done. So if you have a hardware wallet with something like a Trezor or a Ledger. Okay, so. So we've got on the screen here, so we've got the different options on the left hand side. We've got view and send, create new wallet, swap, contracts, ENS, sign and verify message, TX, broadcast transaction, support and help. Alright, so what we can do is we'll just go through what, they, through what they've got. We've got view and send, create new wallet. So you can create a new wallet using Ledger, or you can generate a wallet using your own private key. Okay which is not recommended. Swap. This is for swapping uh, between different coins. It's using a shape shift, so you can actually swap within here. Contracts. Ethereum name service. Sign verify message. TX status. Broadcast sign transaction. Okay, and there's some different links there, and also the help. So we go back to view and send. So what we'll do is I'm going to um, I've got a Trezor wallet, so I'm just going to click on Trezor. So it says unlock your Trezor, connect Trezor. So we click on that button. So now what will happen is I will get a pin that's on my Trezor right now, and then I put that pin in. and then unlock. So on the screen it will come up with multiple addresses and there's a couple of things you can do. One if you want to interact with that address you just select it and then click unlock. Okay and so now what it will do, it will have your address on the right hand side. It will tell you your balance And also you can do a scan for token balances as well. Now if you want to send, you can scroll down the different options you can do. You send Ether and tokens. And this is where you would type in the address and the amount selected in ETH. Now this is a transaction fee, so it actually gives you like an estimated cost and also 
how much gooey, um, gooey it is. So at the moment it's 10, which is recommended. As you move it up, you can see the price change. So it's 48 cents, 70 cents, right up to a dollar. So yeah, basically this changes all the time. And then once you put in the address you want to send it to, you click on send transaction. Okay, so um, that's how you can do it there. Downs you've got, you just select, you can select request payment and that will have your address and the um, um, amount of, of whatever it is, ETH or any other tokens. Okay, and then you have wallet info, which will be addressed plus your QR code. Recent transactions. Now, if you click on EtherScan, it'll actually take you to the page where you can see your transactions. And then you go to your address book. You can actually label it and put a new address in there. So the main thing you do is to send Ether. And uh, they also have the advanced section if you ever need to fill out that. Just expand that out. Uh, so that's what you mainly use, the main functions uh, of the My Crypto app. Essentially, if you want, you can change the wallet by clicking on the change wallet and then it asks you how you would like to access your wallet. So if you want to access a different um, address, I would click on my Trezor. I'd connect my Trezor. The list comes up on the screen again and I would then choose perhaps a different address and then I'd unlock it. And then I would be able to send uh, tokens and or ether from this here. So that's how all you have to do. Um, that's sort of the basics of it, very similar to how it, it works on the website. And um, that's the main function that you would use. So I won't go through how to create a wallet, but I will, um, the, the main thing you use for, for viewing and sending and checking your transactions.